you want to talk about tonight's game? Or? Yeah, we'll talk about tonight's game. Uh, we'll, we'll start, uh, you know, with your with your game tonight against Tage Creek, Coach, and uh, big win tonight. Yeah, this bunch, truthfully, uh, we've got a lot of seniors, and they've been the worst bunch that I've ever had to kind of play to the level of the competition. And, uh, kind of jumped on a little bit before we ever started uh, to make sure that they came out ready to play. And I think this is the first time where we really had a complete game from, from start to finish. I thought their intensity was good. And came out and jumped on them quick, which we should have. Uh, I mean, Tate's Creek's struggling, they're, they're young, they don't have much experience coming back, so I think our experience didn't show up there in the first half. And I liked our pressure because a lot of turnovers. Just looked like we were into it, which a bunch of seniors should be into it when you have the type of season we are. I, I know that you guys, yeah, I caught you at Hoot Fest too, by the way, Coach, but I know that you guys are playing uh, pretty calm out there. I mean, you're going up against the Lexington team tonight, and uh, it's going to make you feel pretty good that your team's so calm coming into to Lexington. Yeah, these guys have been around the block a time or two. Yeah. I mean, all these seniors, that's uh, what I was telling Coach Butcher from Cumberland, that uh, four of these guys actually started some of the freshmen. Mm -hmm. Dominic Hawkins, of course, has been our leading scorer ever since his freshman year, and they just got a lot of experience. So we've been over to Lexington to play a lot of times, and I told them before the game started, anytime you go to play Lexington school, I don't care what their record is, when you go into the gym, you got to come ready to play. And mm -hmm. I think they did respond. But they did respond tonight. Uh, but our next, our next five or six games are incredible. Uh, we go to Russell County. They're one of the favorites in the fourth region Friday night. We play in the Joby Hall Prep Classic Saturday against John Harden. Uh, we play Henry Clay at home next Tuesday. We play Louisville Trinity at their place next Friday. And then we play Lexington Catholic the following Tuesday. So our next five, but we better be ready to play. And it's a good thing we got a lot of seniors playing a schedule like that. Yeah, t talk to me about the about that schedule, Coach. I, I noticed that uh, you guys don't play district games. I didn't see any district games listed on your schedule. Well, yeah, that... We play Madison Southern first game. Okay. Of the year. That's really the only district school that we play. We model the other two teams in our district. And with a team like this, we need to find the best teams we can, and that's what we try to do this year. Our, our schedule uh, schedule has been brutal. Uh -huh. and it's really going to be brutal here in the next month. But that can only help when we get into 11th region play because when we look. Uh, one of the five, five, six teams in the top 20 in the, uh -huh. in the 11th region, so we kind of have a mini state tournament of our own. So I want my guys to be prepared when I think this year's schedule will definitely have them prepared. So we don't have any excuses, put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talk to me about some of the guys that's been really big contributors for your team. I know, of course, everybody knows about Hawkins, but uh, you, you got a couple guys out there that, that's really stepped up for your team as well, Coach. We do. I mean, of course, everybody knows about Dominique. Uh, just scored his 2,000 point uh, last week. Uh, of course, Kendra Bosley. He's another great scorer. Yeah. Dominique's averaging about 20, 21. Kendra about 18, 19. And Kendra's about, I don't know how many had tonight. He's probably less than 10 or 15 points away from them. joining our 1,000-point clubs. Had a, had, had a great senior season, a great junior season, too. Of course, Juan Taylor, uh, just a freak of nature athlete. He loves to get those dunks, and we like to throw those lobs for him on the dunk. But what, what I've really been impressed with our other two seniors at the start, really three seniors, uh, George Walker comes off the bench as our spark, our, our sixth man, and then Daniel Parker. Hunter Stocker, you know, they fulfill our roles. They do what we need for them to do. How are you going to finish out the, the rest of the regular season, Coach? And what do you tell your team going into the playoffs? Well, uh, we'll see what happens these next five or six games. I mean, that'll give us kind of an idea of where we stand. I think our guys are going to compete, and we might lose some games uh, here in these next five or six. And that's fine as long as we learn from them. Yeah. And uh, it can only help us once we get to the tournament. All right, Coach Feldhouse, I appreciate your time as always. All right, no problem. Thanks.